How are we folks? It's Sunday. Sunday afternoon to be precise, about four o'clock. Uh, not too long out of bed. Um having more class noise. <laughs> I've just come into the office, I want to get today's vlog uh, edited, uploaded and ready to go and then I'm going to make a start on Tuesday's article. Uh, so I need to do a bit of research on that as I was saying yesterday, I'm not 100% sure how many um, kind of email collection options I'm going to go through. Um, so I'd like to pick out a couple for some, some of my favourite bloggers um, and show how they collect their emails and maybe how you can do the same. So it's something I'm going to look into. It does need a bit of research. But first and foremost, I'm going to get in and get today's vlog edited. And then I'll talk a little bit more about Tuesday's article once I've got some research done. Hey, today's vlog is now edited and uploaded and scheduled and social is done. And it's just about to go 5pm. So I've got about an hour I can dedicate now to Tuesday's article. I'm in work this evening. Um, so I can probably stay in the office till about 6, then I need to get some food. Obviously need to uh, kind of just spend my whole day in here so I can get out of here for my own sanity as well. If I try and strike a bit of a balance. Um, so I'm going to put an hour into some research, maybe even a very rough first draft. Um, we'll see how we get on. Um, yeah, I'm going to put, do some research now on exactly which types of list building efforts I want to cover in this blog post um, and some examples as to how you can do that so I'll see what I come up with as I said yesterday I don't know how many of these I want to cover it may only be two or three uh, because I do want people to take action I think if you give too many options people kind of they get a bit of a paralysis when it comes to making decisions so three is always a good place to start um, when you're giving people an option on anything um, so I'll have a look and see and I'll update you when I'm done right so uh, the article is getting there I've stayed working on it a little bit longer than I wanted to but I'm going to finish up um, I've got a half decent first draft-ish written um, and again the article is taking another turn as I was writing it um, I kind of fell down a little rabbit hole or had a little idea and I've decided to run with it. Um, so initially I was going to kind of look at what people were doing um, in terms of list building and some of the techniques they were using. Um, and I've still done that, but I've decided to focus in on three that perhaps aren't as conventional. I mean, I looked at a lot of sites and it's a lot of the same stuff it's in the sidebar it's in the header it's in a, a floating bar that moves down the page with you um it's in a pop-up um that loads when the page loads or when you start scrolling it pops up and people know all that kind of stuff so i kind of figured that you know what i'm going to look at maybe three not so common ways of making people aware that they can sign up to your list and i think that's half the battle it's giving them the option to sign up and letting them know that they can um, because people do become a bit blind to the opt-ins uh, on the sidebar or even in a scroll bar um, or a welcome a welcome mat. So I've come up with three um, that I'm looking at that are slightly slightly outside of the standard remit I suppose um, and how you can do them. So that's going to need a little bit more work, a bit more fleshing out. Um, I may also have to record a, a video showing how to do one or two of these tactics um, and they do involve a bit of software so that'll have to be done but I'm happy enough now that I have something that I can from here I can reasonably comfortably spend tomorrow working on and get that done I'm gonna wrap it up there that's it I kind of get myself sorted and head off to work uh, enjoy the rest of your day whatever you get up to and I'll catch you tomorrow <laughs>